Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a monthly reading for the sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, these messages will be for the month of May. They are general, they will not resonate with everyone. Just take what does, apply it, and leave the rest also. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So Aquas, let's jump into it and pull some overall energies for you. So Spirit, give me some overall energies for Aquarius. Overall energies. Okay. Ooh. I have frequency. I heard turn up the volume. Okay, Aquarius. Let me see. What well, have endings? I heard pressure. Pressure, pressure pressure cooker let's get one more I feel like you're definitely closing out cycles I feel like um, for some of you it's like you had to be forced to do this you know you was an unwilling participant in the beginning but God had to make you a willing participant so that you can finally close out these chapters um, I feel like things got very heated for you kind of hot you know you couldn't take it and you finally had to say you know what it's either me or them, or it's either me or this situation, and you had to just say goodbye. I have what you don't learn from, you will repeat exactly. This is about closing out cycles and learning from your experiences so that you do not repeat the lesson, Aquarius. Yes, frequency. It's like, what have you gained from what you have been through? I definitely feel like May is going to be a month of reflection, a month of learning, a month of growth for you, a month of uncomfortable situations that is going to bring endings, but will also bring new beginnings. Because with each season, as one season closes, another season begins. That is automatic, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me about frequency. Okay, I have the three of cups. Okay, turning up the volume. For some of you, I feel like you're going to be entering a month where there's a lot of celebration. I heard like some good news. Um, for some of you, you may be celebrating um, a pregnancy. I'm also getting a baby shower for some of you. Um, but for others of you, like with this three frequency and three of cups, um, there's going to be people that's going to try to test you in the month of May. Yeah, I see a lot of tests coming for some of you. This could be around um, a particular friend group, co-workers, but I definitely do see some tests coming for you, Aquarius. Let's clarify this Three of Cups. Somebody going to test your gangster, Aquarius. Give me a message for the Three of Cups. Okay. What do I have? Yep, the hangman in the reverse. Yeah. For some of you, um, I'm just getting like a hot-headed type of energy. Um, you're no longer going to be sitting still. I feel like whatever you've kept bottled inside, like whatever you didn't want to say, oh, it's coming out <laughs> in the month of May. You're no longer holding back. You're expressing yourself. And I feel like you're being forced to do this. You're being pushed to do this. You're being pushed to speak your truth. You're being pushed to stand up for yourself. And for some of you, this is going to be around work. This is going to be around friendship, around family. But it's like you're tired. Like baby is coming out of the corner. Let's get a message for endings. Yeah, you're going to be telling people how you feel. How you been feeling. Like I've been on. Like I've been feeling like this. Tell me about endings for Aquarius. What do I have? The seven of wands, oh, but you're going to try to fight against these endings, though. You're going to try to hold on. Yeah, but you got to break free. You're going to try to hold on. <laughs> it's time for you to break free, Aquarius. You can't hold on to something that's already completed. It's done. The cycle is over. You cannot hold on. 
you're going to try to fight against it. Yep, look at what I have, death in reverse. Yeah, you're not going to embrace change. It's going to be difficult for you to accept the transformation. But what you don't understand, Aquarius, is that whatever you let go of, I don't care what it is, Aquarius. It could be a friendship. It could be a relationship. It could be a job, whatever. It could be a house, a car, whatever you let go of. God is always going to give you something better, something more in alignment with you. You know, it, a lot of times it'd be us holding ourselves back because we feel like that's God's best for us when it's not. So it's just about you changing your perception and embracing this change because this ending is for your highest good. You may not see it right now. You may not understand it in the moment, but you will as time passes, as time goes on. You're not meant to be stuck in a place that's unhealthy for you, in a place where there's no growth, no opportunities. God wants you to have more, but see, you have to want that for yourself. Let's get a message for what you don't learn from. You will repeat. Yeah. Repeating a cycle because you're still holding on. And it's time for you to let it go, to release completely. For some of y'all, y'all may have like um, significant Scorpio placements with this death. What do I have? The Magician. Yes. Whatever you don't learn from, you will repeat. The Magician. What are you manifesting? So it's like God is trying to give you what you've been asking for. Like he's trying to give you what you've been manifesting, but you don't see it. Because you feel like you already have it, but you don't have it. <laughs> You don't have it yet. So God's trying to get you to a place where you can actually get it. You obtain it. You can actually reach out and touch it. Do you see it, Aquarius? Do you see what God is trying to give you? Do you understand where God is trying to take you? Spirit, tell me about the magician. Oh. Oh, yes. The sun. Yep. So for a lot of you, I feel like you are going to end up closing out this cycle. I heard voluntarily or involuntarily. I feel like you are going to end up closing out this cycle. For some of you, it's definitely going to take you a little longer than others. But for those of you who are going to say, you know what? It's time for me to walk away from this situation. It's time for me to put an end to this you have the sun. You have the magician and the sun. This is your wish fulfillment. This is you being granted everything that you want, everything that you desire. Yes, the endings are hard. Closing out cycles is hard. It's difficult. It's not fun. But what you're going to be getting is going to be just so amazing. I heard breathtaking. Your life, I heard like a renewal. Your whole life is going to go through a renewal. You're being given what you've been asking for, Aquarius. All you have to do is be willing to walk away and walk through to the next door, to the next phase. So let's go ahead and look at some spiritual energies for you. Spirit, give me some spiritual energy for Aqua Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? Spiritual energy for Aquarius. Okay. Perfect acceptance. Yes. Accepting it. Accepting the situation for what it is. Accepting your circumstances for what it is. Once you accept something for what it is, once you accept the person for who they truly are, it helps you with releasing. It finally helps you with, you know, letting go, freeing yourself from things that are toxic, from things that are not beneficial to you. And then look at what I have. There is a solution for every problem. There is a solution for every single problem. You do not have to be bound to any situation. There is freedom. There's freedom to your circumstances. You can be free. You can heal. You can move to the next phase. You do not have to stay stuck where you are. But it's all up to you. It's all up to if you're willing to do the work. If you're willing to release, let go. It's in your hands. The power is in your hands. 
Let's get another message. Spirit, give me another message for Aqua. Another message for Aquarius. Okay, what do I have here? I have Ram, Perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountain top. Never give up and good luck will follow. Yes, you have many gifts and no problem can withstand. So for some of you, you have the gift of being like a problem solver. I'm also getting like a people pleaser. For some of you, you like to... Be there for everyone else. But in this season, God is saying, you know, you need to put yourself first. You need to be there for yourself. Um, you can reach whatever goal that you set out to reach. Again, the magician is here. You can have whatever it is that you desire, Aquarius. But you have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to follow the divine guidance that you that is being offered to you. And I like where it says, never give up and good luck will follow. So never give up. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on yourself. You know, when you stay in unhealthy situations, that is you giving up on yourself. That's you saying that, you know what, I'm comfortable where, I'm comfortable where I am. This is enough for me. No, you should never want just enough. You should want more than enough. So never give up on yourself. Never get to a point where you stay in a situation that is not beneficial to you, Aquarius. Perseverance. Keep on moving. Keep on striving. It only gets better. You have the sun. You have fulfillment. It's within your reach. How bad do you want it? If you want it bad enough, you're going to keep moving forward. Let's pull one more message. Okay, what do I have here? <laughs> Seek advice from elders. A mentor would be beneficial. So yeah, for some of you, you're being asked to, you know, reach out to people who are older than you. I'm getting like a grandmother for some of you. Very gray hair. A grandmother, a great grandmother. For some of you, she has passed on. But do not be afraid to reach out to your ancestors. Do not be afraid to seek advice from people who are older than you, who have lived longer, who have been already, they've already lived their life they've been where you have been Aquarius um seek wise counsel yes make sure that you seek wise counsel the key here is wise Aquarius in the month of May because it'll be beneficial it'll give you a new outlook a different perspective on things you know somebody who's already been there and done that because they look back over their life and they could look at it and say <clears throat> you know where they wish they would have done differently and so they pour into people who are younger than them to show them the way so that they don't go through the same pitfalls so yes definitely seek out counsel a mentor a guide a spiritual guide pray talk to god connect with your ancestors connect with your spiritual team but yes seek guidance So let's get some love energies for you. Spirit, give me some love energies for Aquarius. Love energies for Aquarius. I'm also getting free your mind and the rest will follow. That's song by Involve. So everything starts with the mind, Aquarius. Once you free your mind, once you change your perception of a situation or of a person, <laughs> everything else is easy. <laughs> it's the mind that has to change first and then everything else will follow. Spirit, give me some love energy for Aquarius. love energies for aquas okay oh i have the world all right aquarius 
But some of you, I heard like long distance, it's maybe a long distance relationship. You may have to travel to see each other. I have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's get some more messages for Aquas. Okay, I have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And let's get one more. For some of you, I'm feeling like um, the distance could be having a negative effect on your relationship. And I'm also getting like communication. Maybe an issue as well. Yeah, I have the moon in the reverse. Yeah, for someone, you're not seeing success or growth when it comes to a connection. And for some, it could is due to um, the distance between you and this person. I feel like um, there's going to be a lot of revelation when it comes to this connection. A lot of things are going to be expressed and said between you and this person. Let's go ahead and clarify a little further. Spirit, tell me about the world. I have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. For some of you, I'm getting like a new, a fresh start. So for some of you, you're going to be entering into a new relationship. This could be somebody that lives at a distance from you. There's definitely going to be some travel involved when it comes to this connection. Let's get a message for the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, what do I have here? Yep, the chariot. Okay, yeah, there's definitely going to be some travel, whether it's by plane, um, by car. I heard like two hours away. For some of you, you may only live like two hours away from this person. But you will have to travel to see each other. Let's get a message for the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so for some of you, um, you're involved. I heard I don't want to be a player no more. So for some of you, you're involved with a person who is only looking for a good time. They're not really looking for anything serious. Um, this is somebody who really doesn't have like good intentions. Give me a message for the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yep, the star in the reverse. They don't recognize your value. This is not somebody who's going to appreciate you, Aquarius. Not whatsoever. They only care about their needs, their physical needs. Let's get a message for the Ace of Pentacles. I'm also getting on um, with the star. For some of you, you may meet this person online. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I have the Five of Swords. Um, I'm getting two messages with this. For some of you, there may have just been like a lot of arguments, disagreements. When it comes to this connection, you may argue a little bit more than usual in the month of May. Which is not going to be healthy for this connection. With this Ace of Pentacles, this is some. This is definitely um, a brand new energy here. Um, for others of you, I'm getting that there may be competition um, that you don't know about. This person um, may be dealing with other people or have people from them, their past who's still in their energy pulling and tugging on them. Let's get a message for the Five of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I have the Six of Cups in the reverse. I have the Page of Swords and I have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're definitely going to be guarded. So I get two different energies here. So this is you, Aquarius, and this Nine of Wands energy, very guarded. Um, Yeah, feeling some, type, feeling some kind of weight, Aquarius. With this Page of Swords, this is either an ex-girlfriend or the mother or father of their child or children but they're still in communication with this person with this six of cups in the reverse they don't really have a good relationship um it's not healthy it can be toxic herbie as sometimes um there may be a lot of conflict when it comes to the child or children but um it's definitely somebody else that is involved in this situation and they have to communicate with this person because they share um, a child with this individual but this is you I feel like you're very guarded I feel like you just don't really trust the situation um, you may have a lot of questions you may be doubting whether or not if you want to open up if you want to give to this person because this page of swords energy here can be very immature but they definitely communicate with someone from their past 
whether or not they have a child with this person. For some of you, they do. And it kind of puts you on the fence. Let's get a message for the moon in the reverse. moon for aqua oh i have the king of cups oh yes i heard emotionally available somebody's definitely going to be expressing their emotions yes somebody's going to be expressing how they feel aquarius how they feel about you this person could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio tell me about the king of cups Okay, I have tempers in reverse. So for some of you, this person has been holding back. Like they've been her pressure cooker. <laughs> this person has been holding back, but something's going to happen where they can no longer hold back. I feel like they've been waiting and it's like they're all out of time. They feel like time is running out. So they're definitely going to be expressing themselves. For some of you, this person is going to be making some type of offer. So let's look at some career energy. Spirit, tell me what's going to be happening in Aquarius career. What is going to be happening in Aqua's career? What do I have here? I have the Eight of Pentacles. You work hard for the money, Aqua. Hard for the money. I have the Five of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. You in your bag. Let's get one more. Okay, Aqua. So I have a Justice and I have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, Aquas, you're definitely moving towards a period of stability when it comes to your career and your finances. Um, with this Eight of Pentacles, I feel like there's definitely something you've been working very hard on. I heard like steadily and fast. But there's been like some blockages or there's been people around you that's been trying to interfere, get in your way um, when it comes to you getting to this next level, getting to the bag. For some of you, this is an elevation in your career. I heard promotion, so there may be competition, maybe people trying to stop you from getting what's rightfully yours. But with this justice, whatever God has for you, it is for you. So it's going to work out in your favor either way, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, give me a message for the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about the eight of pentacles for aquarius Ooh, aquarius seven of pentacles you're going from the seven to the eight of pentacles so it's like you've been waiting you've been waiting on something to grow you've been planting your seeds and it's like you're finally seeing it manifest you're finally starting to see it materialize let's get a message for the seven the five of wands okay i have the two of wands okay so some of y'all i heard can i just get away whatever conflict you've been dealing with at your job whatever you've been coming up again whatever strife and competition it's like can i just get away you're moving away from it for some of you this is going to be you literally moving away you may be relocating in the month of may switching jobs but it's like you're getting ready you're getting away from the nonsense it's like you really don't have time for it I heard I'm better than that. Yeah, you don't have time to deal with it. It's not conducive, Aquarius. It messes with your workflow. I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles upright. So whatever difficulties you've been experiencing in your finances, you're getting ready to experience a shift. An improvement. And I'm going back to death in the reverse it's like once you make a decision about your life and the direction you want to head in that's what you're going to start to see things change for you on all areas 
in all aspects of your life, Aquarius, even your career and your finances. So you're going from a period of financial challenges and struggles to a period of financial stability, security. Let's get a message for justice. Libra energy. Okay. So I have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, and the King of Pentacles. So very specific message. There is someone who has been trying to keep money from you. This message is not going to apply to everyone. There is someone who's been trying to hold that money from you. Um, they haven't been giving you what's rightfully yours. I heard a lawsuit for someone. You may be going through a lawsuit. But there has been money held up. Somebody don't want to pay you your coins, Aquarius. They've been holding back money. They don't want to give it to you. With this Queen of Cups in reverse, like this person is all about them. They don't care nothing about, you know, what you're going through, how you feel. Like, no, I want to keep my money. I'm not paying you. That's what this person is saying. I'm not going to pay you. That's it. I'm not paying you. But it's like this judge is going to side in your favor. So even if they don't want to pay you, Aquarius, they're going to have to pay you. But there's definitely been somebody holding back money from you and trying to keep money away from you. But they're going to have to release your money in the month of May. It's yours. And I feel like this King of Pentacles energy, like this is the judge who's like, no, I'm going to give him or her like what they rightfully deserve. So things are going to go in your favor. Like you will get a ruling that is in your favor, Aquarius. So do not worry about it. Yeah, this person trying to take your money. They trying to hold back. They not trying to pay you one cent, but they will end up doing it. You will receive justice. Let's get a message for the Knight of Pentacles. But some of you, this is a family member. And I'm also getting a house. This may have something to do with a house. I heard like the deed. The deed of a home. But yeah, it's going to work out in your favor. Somebody's been trying to keep things away from you. Keep things hidden. I'm also getting like whatever's hidden is going to be revealed. Whatever's been kept from you. Whatever information that wasn't um, provided to you is finally going to be shown. Everything is coming to the light, Aquarius. Oh, yes. You're going to be given a new opportunity. Somebody's going to see your worth. For some of you, you do something online or on social media, but you're getting ready to receive a new opportunity. I feel like there's going to be somebody who wants to collaborate with you. Somebody's going to want to collaborate with you. Somebody's really going to want to, you know, put you out there, you know, so that you can receive more notoriety, more attention. But this is going to be something very good and stable for you. Of course, we know the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving night. So it's not going to happen all in one day, Aquarius. But this is definitely the start of something great. So let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me some final messages for Aqua. Final messages for Aqua. What do I have here? Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Yeah, exactly. It's time for you to do what's best for you to be bold. Whether it's about closing out cycles, um, walking away from situations, endings. Endings are just a opportunity for you to be blessed with a new beginning, Aquarius. Be bold. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth. Make the first move. You have to be willing to put yourself first, to put your happiness first above all. Because that's what everybody else is going to do. They're going to put their own needs first. So it's time for you to make yourself the priority. You know, and I heard like care less. Yeah, just be in the energy of, you know what? I have to care about myself before others. And I know that sounds selfish, but sometimes you have to be like that. Because you only get one life. And nobody else is going to live it for you. So you might as well do what's best for you. Let's pull one more message. And I also heard like stand in your truth. Stand in your truth, Aquarius. Stand in your truth, regardless who likes it, who doesn't. 
you know, walking away from situation, ending situation. Of course, people are going to talk. Let them talk. It's okay. People are going to talk about you anyways. Whether you're alive, whether you're dead, it's fine. As long as you know. As long as you and God know. That's all that matters. And then I have I am knowledge. Yeah, you have what it takes. You are knowledge. You've learned enough. You have learned enough. When we talk about repeating cycles, you already know enough. It's up to you whether or not you choose to repeat that cycle. But you've already gained the knowledge. You already have the experience. So now it's time for you to move to the next level. You don't have to keep on holding on to things to benefit other people. And don't hold on to situations just out of comfort. Because ain't no growth there. Ain't no growth in you being comfortable. Growth is when you get uncomfortable. When you step outside of your comfort zone. That is when the transformation truly happens, Aquarius. So these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.